Ashwin Romani is my guest. Before we went to the break, Ashwin, you were talking about now you've made this decision to follow Jesus. What was the reaction from your family? It was a very difficult time, you know, communicating this with my parents. Uh, I still remember when I told them for the first time, they thought I was playing a prank. They didn't even take me seriously that I had become a Christian. And it, yet I had to tell them this is true and I really mean this. And I could still remember like uh, the look of disappointment in their face. You know, we come from an honor-shame culture and a decision like this is seen as bringing shame on the entire family. So it meant that there were a lot of arguments in the home. You know, I told you we were a close-knit family and we were a happy family. And my parents looked at me and said, you know that this decision that you have made is going to take the peace away from our home. And that happened. How did, where, where did you ever at any point rethink it? Like maybe I shouldn't be a Christian. Uh, I mean, because your faith w at the beginning was being tested. Yeah, I, I know it's all God's grace, but I, there was no turning back. I felt so sure the direction that I was going. And again, God's love just carried me through in those difficult moments. Even extended family were involved in this. So aunts and uncles would come to the home and confront me and say, why are you doing this? This is like bringing shame on the whole family. And yet, like God encouraged me through the scripture, like the rewards that are associated with uh, the, the, the challenges of persecution. Well, there's lots of scriptures that deal with that. I mean, you had to learn early on uh, the cost to follow Jesus. And sometimes we don't understand that right here in our Canadian culture. That's so true. You know, when you come from another faith, uh, you understand the cost of discipleship. And Jesus was very clear. Uh, he was not looking for fans. He was looking for hardcore committed disciples who are willing to deny themselves, take up the cross and follow him. And persecution is a reality, as you know, all around the world, even today. So you make your way now to Canada. Um, you're here, you're pastoring, going to talk about what you're doing. But how are things with the family now back in India? I'm very thankful to God that was, as the years have gone by, a lot of healing has happened. I had the privilege of having my parents come here to Canada a couple of years ago and visit with us. They heard me preach at Center Street Church. So God has brought uh, healing in our relationship. So we do communicate quite well today. Now, one of the things you do um, is you reach out to people that are new to Canada or from other religions, whether it's Islam, Hinduism, or even people that have come from nominal Christian backgrounds. Tell me about what you're doing here and the passion you have here in Calgary. Uh, you know, the passion and the motivation comes from this uh, vision in Revelation chapter 7, uh, where we have this picture of heaven populated with worshipers from all different people groups, every tribe, every language, every nation. And that is because uh, Jesus, I mean, he died on the cross. He shed his blood, not just to redeem one people group, but every single people group in this world. And, and here, you know, when you look at Canada, God is bringing the nations to Canada. Uh, Calgary is a very multi-ethnic city, just like any other top Canadian cities. In fact, the statistics say that by 2020, uh, the Im new immigrant population in Calgary would reach half a million. Wow. Uh, so this is a, a mission field and the harvest is rich and we had, uh, we've had an incredible privilege of serving in Calgary, reaching out to newcomers. Many of them come here leaving their families behind. They're very lonely. They are looking for friends and uh, that, that's why we pioneered a new ministry in our church called uh, the New Canadian Friendship Centre. And uh, the heart of this ministry is to extend friendship and relationship to people. And in that uh, context of relationship, the gospel message is uh, shared with them as well. We also provide practical help like English classes and helping people to uh, adjust to life here in Canada. Are people open to the gospel? Absolutely, yeah. We've seen uh, lives being amazingly transformed. A number of them have come to know the Lord. Uh, I also have a passion for ministry to Muslims as well. So we have had uh, lots of engagements uh, where we do dialogues with Muslims. And in a respectful way, we are able to share the uniqueness of the gospel message. Well, I know your heart is to share in love. What would you say to somebody that's watching our program today? Because we do get calls all the time, people from other faith backgrounds that are saying, you know, I, I want to know more about this Jesus. What would you say for somebody that's come from another religion and into a relationship? Not another religion with Christianity, but in a relationship with Jesus. You know, the, this quest for salvation is in every religion. And I see people striving so hard to achieve this salvation. And yet, yeah, there's not a clear path of salvation that is stated in other religions. It's very confusing and complicated. And what we see in the Christian faith is the simplicity of the gospel message that all of us who place our faith in Jesus receive this uh, gift of uh, eternal life. 
and that's what makes uh, the Christian message so unique. Ashwin, thank you for the great work that you're doing here in Calgary. So appreciate it. And, and again, you know, your story is so powerful. And I know many people are, are also, you know, looking for that truth. So thank you. You're welcome. It's great to be here. Great. And I know so many are on a spiritual journey. We've always got people standing by to take your call. They're not going to try to pressure you into becoming a Christian. But if you're seeking, there are people that would love to talk to you. Our number is 1-866-273-4444.